Okay, so to make this video, I am using Snagit. Um, I also have Camtasia, but um, many of many of us use Jing, which is free. Um, and this, I'm not going to go over how to set up Jing, but if you have a Jing account, um, you'll know that now that we're making transcripts um, and closed captioning, that it's been really hard um, to get Jing videos closed captioned. Um, but there is good news. We actually can convert the video file from Jing um, and save it to your desktop and then upload it to YouTube. And YouTube will already make transcripts for or put in the closed captioning, or you can send it off and get the correct closed captioning done. So um, the first thing is this link right here. It takes you to the converter. I'm just going to copy it, even though I know that I could click on it. And let's see. All right, so if I put this URL, which I can post in the um, comments on this video, um, here you have where you can download the free version for Windows or the free version for Mac. I'm not going to do this because I already have mine downloaded, but if you just click on that and you go through all the steps, um, you'll end up with it on your computer, and eventually it's going to give you um, a little icon that looks like this. It's um, IORG soft SWF video converter um, and you're probably going to want to convert your videos from um, SWF um, extensions which is what you get when you make a Jing video um, to an MP4 which is what um, Snagit which is what I'm on right now already has that feature and uploads it and so does Camtasia and they're both usually MP4 um, extension so that's the conversion that I would make if you're going to want to put it on YouTube um, so then you just need to go into your screencast account and um, I keep I've had to go into TechSmith and it's been a little complicated getting there but this is the URL for screen screencast um, so if I plug that in I'm already here actually but if I plug that there there I am on my screencast account you can go into view my items and there you're going to find all of your videos. So I'm going to take and download a video, and I did very badly when I started out with this. I didn't really label mine very well. They just kind of say the date, and they give a number. Um, so now I've been labeling my videos um, of the content that I actually cover on them. It makes it a lot easier to find stuff, because I have a bunch of videos out here, um, and I've had a hard time figuring out what's what, and that's all because I didn't label my stuff. So um, I will just do this video. I don't know that I'm going to end up wanting to use it, but um, if you click on this, your video will pop up and start playing. If you hit um, play, and you we learned in actually... class last week that all nouns have a gender. They're either masculine. All right, maybe I can't do it from here. Let me go back. Um, okay, so this is the one. If I click on it, then it gives me this option to download it. So you're going to want to download it and hit OK and just put keep. It's not, it's not dangerous. Um, and so let's remember that this one was, it did say adjective agreement, so I actually labeled this one OK. Um, so then I go into my, um, this SWF converter, if it wants to open up. OK. And um, we're using the free trial, so just click free trial and then select a file. And um, I said I wanted that adjective agreement one, so I'm going to open it up. We learned in class last week that all... Okay, and so then when I want to make a copy, I just click this button right here, and I hit OK. Mm, let's see. Okay, hit OK. We learned in class. Okay, so when I want to, I think I already started it, video, um, hold on a minute, let me do it again. Okay. We learned in class last week that all now, we learned. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to hit this button, and then this is going to come up, and um, something I learned the hard way is that when I click the start, I'm going to need to hit that play button or else it's going to get all of the audio, but it's not going to show my screen moving. So when I click start, we learned in class last this week button right that here. all nouns have We learned in class last week that all nouns have a gender. They're either masculine or feminine or 
they're girls and boys. Um, and we also learned that we needed to know about the gender of nouns. In order okay, now you can hear it and it sounds all garbled. That's just it making the conversion. Once the conversion is complete, it's not going to sound garbled. Um, so I'm going to let it go just a little bit further um, since I'm doing this as an example. Um, and then I'm going to show you what comes next. In order to determine which article we needed to use with those nouns. Well, the same thing holds true for adjectives. Okay, so I'm going to click stop. This isn't the whole video, but you would let it play completely out. And then you hit OK. We learned um, in class last week that all nouns... Actually, what I wanted to do was open it. Um, instead of hitting OK, I would put click open, but I think I have my files open so here's the adjective agreement one anyway when you hit open it's going to open in a file on your computer um, and so then you can go into I just want to get this smaller you can go into YouTube now okay so I don't want to be here anymore I'm going to go into YouTube and you need a YouTube account in order to do this and I'm just going to click, click the upload button and then I'm going to take my video and pull it in here. And I'm just going to leave it as that. Um, this video goes over adjective agreements. And then I just put my tags, maybe adjective agreement, Spanish. I like to link it to my name too. And I've that's helped me be able to find my videos. Um, sometimes I send out my video links. Um, using my phone if I have a student who's emailed me and I'm not at home or in front of my computer and so I can easily and I this I usually put GTCC um, and then it's finished processing so I just hit publish okay and um, so my video is out there we learned in class last week that all nouns have we learned in class so you saw how um, you just want to make sure, this might have been the first one I did, I'm not exactly sure, but you want to make sure, I think this was the first one that I did um, instead of the second one, but it doesn't matter. You saw how that if if you don't click that play button, we learned in class last week that, that it will only have your voice, it won't have the video showing. So the second one wouldn't have shown that arrow for quite as long. That all nouns have. We learned in class last week that all nouns have a gender. They're either masculine or feminine, or they're girls and boys. Okay, so your video would keep going. Um, and so then, once it's in here, you can send this URL to get transcripts made for you. You can also go in and find, um, let's see, so I can go into my video manager here. And um, this isn't the only one I did with the conversion. Um, this one was also one that was done with the conversion, and it was complete. So I'm just going to hit Edit. And when I click Edit, I go up here and click um, Subtitles and Closed Captioning. And this is the one that YouTube does for you, so you can click on those. And it's not going to be perfect. It doesn't always pick up everything that you say. Um, but it looks like they're getting better. Um, with their with their transcripts you can either hit edit and you can start typing over what they've done fixing it and it'll play or what might even be easier to do um, is to go up here and you could download it and you can open your captions and there's your captions right there and you could play the video and go through and make the changes and when you're done you're able to re-upload these um, changed captions to YouTube um, and I can show you guys how to do that when I have a clean one done um, I am not in the pro I don't have one ready to up well alright I could do that and we'll just assume that this one is clean I would just um, save as um, maybe on my desktop and call this adjective agreement. I'm going to call it example. Okay. So once you've made your changes, and what I would suggest is all this timing when you're making your changes. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to redo it right now. But when you're making these changes, get rid of the timings um, before you re-upload it. And um, what you can do is go back into your subtitles 
and you can say add new subtitles or closed captioning and um, and it'll say it's going to overwrite what you have and you just upload a file and then you um, choose your file which will be, I put it on my desktop, I called it adjective agreement example so I'm just going to open this and I'm going to upload it and it may mess up because I didn't take my timings off but um, all right, and it doesn't say I have because it's the exact same transcript, but otherwise it would say set your timings and you put yes, and YouTube would actually make your timings right. So um, if you ever get a transcript that was done for you um, that we sent off and your timings are wrong, you can save the transcript this way and delete all the timings and then upload it to YouTube and YouTube will set your timings and make it correct.